Michelle from Mish Market here. Uh, today we're going to go through a shoe haul and it has been some time in the making. And now this is where the magic happens. Um, this is where I photograph and I just today I cleaned all of these shoes. So I'm just going to go through all of it and let's get to it. First pair of shoes um, that we're going to go through is a pair of Michael Kors uh, knee high boots. This pair in particular, they actually fall flat like this. And I'm gonna leave them up here. And what I do to photograph them, I put in a paper bag on the inside so it stands straight up. And I do that for both of them. But they are just a pair of leather knee high boots. Uh, they were in good condition actually, and they have this gold hardware on the, um, the instep and then the back is elastic. These were a, let me see, I have my notes here, a size seven, and there's a little bit of wear on the toe, which you can sort of see, but um, something that I did to clean them today and to sort of make that a little bit darker, I used the, uh, what is this? Dr. Martin's Wonder Balsam, and this works like magic on leather, so. Uh, if that's not something you already use, definitely pick that up. It's got this little sort of like sponge on the inside and a little place to, my goodness, to hold it. And then the balsam on the inside is clear. So yeah, that's actually really great for cleaning leather, which I used on a lot of these shoes. So that's the Michael Kors. This, <laughs> this next one is actually my favorite pair of shoes from probably this entire haul. I am so happy I found them. And if they were my size, I would keep them. But they are a pair of Rebecca Minkoff slip-on sort of Velcro closure shoes. I love these. They are so cute. <laughs> I don't know. I just I love slip-on shoes. So anyway, these uh, have the Velcro closure, closure, like I said, and this little sort of silver embellishment. I just think they're adorable um, this is a six and a half yeah it's the bottoms maybe I could clean up again but anyway I've already photographed all of these shoes and probably by the time I post this video they'll be listed so those were really nice super super happy to find those and the next pair it's a pair of kimchi blue for Urban Outfitters heels and the heel is actually suede, so I cleaned this with the, um, the suede and new buck. And you'll see on, uh, you'll see later on, I cleaned a pair of Sam Edelman's with that, and it, they were really scuffed up, and I completely removed all the scuffs. Same with these, any kind of marks, I used the little suede new buck stone, and that's awesome. And these are just a pair of sort of like red, they're almost like a pink red they're like pink red yeah and they are a size eight and I thought these were really cute the open toe and everything and then the front is a fabric so I thought that was nice I'm not really sure how much these are gonna go for but we'll see I haven't um I think I've only sold maybe one other pair of Urban Outfitters shoes before but these were basically brand new. The, they were completely, they look completely unworn. So yeah, we'll see how those do. These I actually really, really want to keep for myself, <laughs> but I don't think I will. Um, they're a pair of blue Tony Pons espadrilles. And I'm not super familiar with the brand. Uh, I actually didn't, they, you can't tell what they are just by looking at them. I only knew this because I was looking in someone else's closet, um, Leslie Fines, and she had a pair in green that she had obviously labeled correctly, and I was like, oh my god, thanks so much like, for, for showing me this, and I mean, I don't know, it just, it was a nice thing to find. So these are um, suede in the front, and they retail, I think they retail for like over a hundred or something, something like that, but anyway. They, um, they have the espadrille sort of very signature side. And then these are a 38, made in Spain. 
But yeah, so suede on the front and then they're elastic on the side. They're so comfortable. These are my size and they're so adorable and I love them. And I think I'm just going to sell them because it's hard for me to keep things I know that are <laughs> of value. But yeah, those are adorable. Next ones. Let's see. They're over here. So this is a pair of Mark Fisher heels. I love these. These are really cute. So um, yeah, just Mark Fisher, stacked heel, pointed toe, size six and a half. And then the next one. These are actually, I probably shouldn't have picked these up to be honest. Um, these are Sam Edelman. And it's not because they aren't cute, because they are, they're adorable, but they're not in as good condition as I wish they were. Um, this in particular, you can see like the, the sole is sort of a little worn down, the rubber came up. And so, yeah, I'm going to have to, I don't even know if I'm going to list these to be honest. So if any of you guys want some, please do let me know. I'll sell them to you at a basically nothing. <laughs> But they're all studded and they're they're nice. Um, I like the embroidered sort of like the beading at the side. That was really what caught my eye because it's just totally embroidered here and then the studding in the front. It's adorable. I don't know. I just I love these. These are really cute except for the fact that the one shoe sort of is missing a little bit of the rubber. So that's that's not great. But the other one is also mi missing a bit but less so. Anyway. They're also missing a couple of studs, which, yeah, I'll have to put all of that in the description if I list them or if I decide to list them, but otherwise they're really cute. And these are, let me see, I found the size on them before. They're nine and a half. These are a nine and a half. So if you're a nine and a half and you like them, let me know. Okay, the next pair, where are they? Here. This is Trina Turk. And this is a pair of sort of lace-up wedge heels. So they're suede um, and they're sort of got this, what is this called? Uh, I don't know, I'm at a loss right now. But yeah, they're a wedge heel and they're laced up and they sort of do this crisscross here. So you could sort of imagine how they would look on. And then they've got the long sort of strap for the ankle and so, yeah, they're really cute. They're in really good condition. I think on, it's this pair, this side. There was a mark, I think, a little bit on one of them, but I will just add that to the description, unless I got that out already. Yeah, I think so. But um, yeah, I like them, they're cute. These are a size eight, and it's like a four inch heel, so but pretty comfortable and there's a little bit of wear on the lace but this kind of thing you can go to a cobbler and get replaced and yeah those are easy fixes and this was another one yeah that's where I was talking about sort of the where the suede and nubuck stone comes in handy because you just sort of like rub it out with the rough edge and then you smooth it down with the soft edge somehow I just always end up in a bun you know my hair is just like so long and it just it needs to go up Okay. Marrow boots. If these were my size, I would keep them, but they are not. <laughs> I, I feel like a good pair of hiking boots is, um, is hard to find that are like in good condition, good looking, and something that you can sort of um, wear throughout the winter and that's not super, super clunky and these would be perfect, but they're not my size. Anyway, they are a size six and a half. These are a pair of women's Merrill boots. They're perfect. There's still a lot of tread on them, so I'm not sure why someone would donate these, but they're beautiful. I think just outdoor gear in general, like Patagonia, Timberland, um, Merrill, Sorrel, which is another pair that I picked up, they all go for um, a good amount. And then, let's see, Sam, Sam Edelman, these shoes were a little harder to photograph, so I did um, one flat lay, and I tried a few different ways, um, but it's just harder because they're so long, and this is my little setup, so 
I guess even in a photo box, maybe it would be difficult. I'm not sure. I would need to, I want to look at what other people do um, for this kind of shoe, but they're this sort of tall over the knee boot, like thigh high kind of boot. And they have these, these buckles in the back. And there's, this one has a little bit of a mark here, but it's just right behind the knee. So I figure, you know, whoever's wearing them, they're, it's not going to be really visible anyway. Um, and I tried to get it out, but I'm not really sure what it is. It's just, it's not coming up. So anyway, yeah, the suede is super soft and um, there's a zip sort of right here, which is perfect. Um, they're in pretty good condition. These were a size nine. And yeah, the buckles actually do adjust here. So that was cool too. Okay. I wore these the other day. <laughs> the vans, these perforated vans. They're so cute and they're so easy. And I just love slip on shoes. So slide into my DMs with all of your slip on shoes. <laughs> um, these are a seven and a half and they're in perfect condition. Um, I wore them, but they don't even look worn. And I took up, I guess I could probably go over this maybe one more time with a magic eraser, maybe in the front, but even still, I went over it once and they are cleaned up a lot more. And so I just go over with the magic eraser, which I've got here that I'm sure you all know about, but I go over it with the magic eraser to clean up the white and it's like new. And then I did the Wonder Balsam on top and it's very clearly like a little bit more shiny and it's just nicer. So yeah, these are good. Bands are always good. These are a pair of Cole Hans that I also wore the other day. <laughs> I needed, I don't know how I found so many shoes in my size, but anyway, um, these Cole Hans are a little bit beat up. So that's kind of why I was wearing them. I thought I might keep them, but maybe I'll just use them until someone buys them. I don't know. Um, they're like a little black booty and stacked teal and yeah, they're cute. And so the heel itself is where you see some of the wear. The leather is otherwise still in good condition, not excellent condition. You know, it's not like super, super shiny. You can see some of the marks if you like are really looking sort of on the side here. And there's this little paint mark, a little bit of wear here. So yeah, they're not in perfect condition by any means, but um, they're still okay. I'll wear them. Maybe I'll just keep them. <laughs> but yeah, these are a uh, seven and a half and it's a three inch heel. So that's very doable. They're actually really comfortable. So I did, um, I did this thing. I don't remember who posted about it, but I saw something like if you tape your third and your fourth toe together, then it will relieve the pressure on, um, it'll relieve the pressure on your pinky toe or the nerve or something. So then it's not so painful to wear heels. And I tried it and it kind of worked, but then eventually they just hurt anyway. So I don't know, I'm not really great in heels. I don't know, after a long day of wearing heels, you know, they just, they always get uncomfortable. We just lie to ourselves and pretend that they're, they're good. But anyway, um, these are a pair of Stuart Weitzman um, wedges and all leather. This is super soft and these are in great condition. I did see like here, I can see it now. There's like a little bit of faded sort of area or like wear on the instep, but um, all of that I'll put in the description. And then the other thing is the laces are also leather, but I guess whoever had these before, they were just a little bit worn down. And so the laces I can see show some wear, but those are also, laces are easy to replace, so um, that doesn't really devalue them at all. And leather shoes are all always a good idea because they last a long time. So yeah, Stuart's White, Stuart Weitzman, these are a size eight and it's about a three inch heel here too. So, and they look, I don't know, they don't really look like super worn to me. So it's confusing how I see the wear there, but anyway, yeah. Um, they, the, I mean, at least the sole of it, they're still good. So Stuart Weitzman, these are a size eight. Those should probably do, I think maybe a, 
at least like 70, 80. I have another pair now of nude um, patent leather heels by them, by the same the same brand, Stuart Weitzman. And they haven't sold yet. <laughs> a lot of interest, like, or a lot of likes, but I don't know. The comps looked okay, but those also have like a scuff on them. So that's a totally different issue. Um, so anyway, I would still pick those up. I, I think the comps are still pretty good on them. Okay, so these are Cole Haan again but this is a collab with nike air which i i'm not really sure the comps on this collab are great i don't know but kohan in general i think is still a, a nice shoe um they're all leather and um yeah it's just like a this is an unusual style that i like i haven't seen this recently so i'm not sure how this will do um but it's a pretty basic like cognac color leather the leather is still in perfect condition the heel itself shows a little bit of wear here you can see there's um the nike air if you can see that nike air there um yeah they're a size six and they're really cute i think i like them so that's that these are a pair of sam edelman little open toe shoes these are also my size so I don't know how I found all these shoes in my size I just you know what I was um <laughs> I was sort of finishing the day of sourcing and just like looking for things and this one woman who just she was trying on a bunch of shoes she just comes over to the shoe area and she just like drops all of this stuff out of her cart and she's just unloading it in front of me. And I was like, oh my God. It was all like magic. It was where I found a whole lot of this because she just like unloaded it in front of me. And I was like, this is amazing. <laughs> but anyway, um, this, I'm, I mean, I'm still having a little bit of trouble getting it out because I'm going to keep trying. But there was a huge mark here. And I posted the before and after in my stories on Instagram. But this, these are really comfortable really cute i love the style it's like kind of a basic all the time uh sort of height for the heel because these are actually comfortable but um yeah they're just they're really nice and this definitely had a lot of scuffs on them but i got m most of them out there's this weird little black i think it's maybe paint or something that got onto the the um the heel itself here just down here at the on the tap but um there's nothing really i can I, i've tried to take it out and it's really hard so i'm gonna put all of all of that of course in the listing but these are suede as well and really little short heels so those are cute i hope those do well i mean i guess i hope all of it does well right like but um yeah okay next one are these little silky slip-ons i don't actually know if these are silk they're probably polyester it doesn't say because it just says man-made outsole textile upper um so i don't know and i don't know this brand either mia m-i-a i don't know i've never found it i bought this purely based on style because i think they're really they're really cute because clearly i have a problem with slip-on shoes um i think i wear them like way too much for my own good and I don't even have that many anyway uh there's a little bit of a like a stain or something here I don't know what that is but I couldn't get it out and I was a little nervous to try to put any kind of like fabric spray or anything onto this so I am going to sell them as they are so I don't expect to get a whole lot out of them and I don't know maybe I'll just keep these too probably won't though um they're a seven and a half and I just I don't know I like the style so hopefully those are those do okay I'll probably list these maybe like around I don't know maybe like 30 yeah we'll see I'm not sure what the comps are for that so okay so these are a pair of Biala or Piala I'm also not familiar with this brand I never sold it or found it before um, but they seem like really good quality um, it's sort of just like this little I don't know it seems like a what is this called it's got like the traction at the bottom 
<laughs> but they seem like really good quality. They're a size 38. Um, and so the leather upper and sort of a, another little stack teal where you can see, of course, on all of these, they have a little bit of wear, but nothing ridiculous. And I thought that the, the laces with the fabric were just really cute mixed with the leather. Sort of the mixing of textiles is nice. Um, and they're sort of like a like an olive green, like a deep olive green. They almost look brown, but they're they're really more of a green color. And I thought those were really cute. And I think they're really easy to sort of pair with different things. But I also really like how the uh, the bottom is like I don't know a little rugged. Those are nice. So the next pair of shoes are kids shoes. Um, something that I've been interested in and sort of branching into is kids. Um, I don't have any kids. I'm not super familiar with different kids brands, but I know that Sorrel or Sorel, I don't know how you say it, is worth picking up. So yeah, they seem like they're in really good condition. They just have this little, the little bear that's on the side on the logo is faded off on both of them. But otherwise, they're still really great. The bottoms are completely unused. Um, yeah, I don't see any like wear on the inside. This is faux fur. They just, I don't know, they just seem like they're in great condition outside of the fact that the little logo is gone. So um, hopefully these do okay. This is my first sort of like kids purchase. And I think it's really important to diversify your closet. Next are these Tory Burch wedges. This is another uh, pair of shoes or brand that I haven't actually found and sold before, but I think everyone knows Tory Burch. So for the bags and just generally for the accessories. And yeah, I thought this style was really cute just because of the, it's like a another one of those, I don't know what this is called. Someone tell me in the comments what this is called. <laughs> but um, I wanna say like weaved but it's not really an espadrille, is it? Is this what makes it an espadrille? I don't know. <laughs> Help me. Um, okay, so yeah, I really like this color combo, but I really liked the lace sort of front. They're like an espadrille wedge. And so they were really sort of like linty on the inside because it's a fabric um, sole, but yeah, I thought they were nice. And yeah. They're size seven and they're cute. Totally, oh, there is a little bit of a, it's like a mark here, but it's nothing crazy. It's sort of like, I don't know, can't really tell what that is, but otherwise they're in perfect condition. They really hardly even look worn um, and they're a size seven. So those are nice. I hope those, those do well too. Oh, they're over here. <laughs> the next pair is a pair of Seychelles. These are another one that I, I had trouble photographing just because they're so long, but they're so cute. So I'm happy to have found them. They're just really long. Um, I don't even know if you're seeing all of this. But anyway, they are an over the knee suede um, boot. And it's got like, little heel and round tip of the toe and that is my hair round toe and you can like tie this little tie these little laces in the back and they hang down and it's totally flexible so I'm sure they're super comfortable these are a size 8 and I I know that the comps are good on this I just don't know what these in particular will go for so I'll, I'll take a guess and say I'm gonna list them around 100, but I don't really know. The next pair I found and I was really happy about, is this Hunter Boots, this pair of Hunter Boots. And of course, Hunter does well and it's an exciting thing to find, but it's not exciting to find a pair of Hunter Boots that are cracking, um, which they are a little bit. I just. Something I noticed once I got home, which I guess I probably should have looked a little bit better while I was at the store, but anyway, um, I did clean them, but it's, I don't know, there's just this weird um, sort of wear on them, where it almost looks like the rubber's been scratched a little bit, 
in certain areas so it's hard to get these marks out and I did rub them with olive oil like the YouTubes recommended but I don't know it's hard to it's hard to get the marks out and so I think it's just a matter of the actual texture of the material uh, and as well as the fact that this one has a clasp and the other one doesn't so I hope these still do okay but they're a little bit worn so I'm not so sure if I'm happy about buying these I don't know I've never found hunter boots so I think I was a little excited when I when I got them um, and I just figured you know like whatever someone will buy them but I also feel like it's more important to maintain a certain level of quality so I don't know fingers crossed on these uh, the next pair is actually another pair of hunter boots that I found on a different day backdrop is falling a little bit here but anyway it's okay um, it's really just like a piece of fabric against the wall like taped and clearly with like little pins but anyway um, this is another pair of hunter boots and this one also doesn't have the strap but at least it's consistent you know it's not like one without the other so I don't know I also just think that it's hard to find like I would make someone a really good deal on these because you know the straps gone and so I feel like someone who just is this size which is this is a larger size size 9 and is looking for a pair of hunter rain boots you know looking for a good deal not something that's super marked up this would still be good for them so these were actually in a lot better condition than the other pair um, even though there is a little bit of wear on them, I think they're still really great. So the next pair is a pair of Justin's, these are cowboy boots, and I just thought these were so unique and just really good looking. They're definitely men's because they are much, they're like a huge size. They're a nine and a half, but this doesn't look like nine and a half for women. This looks like a men's shoe. Um, and I don't know, I just really love the, like sort of teal leather color and the embroidery on it, it just seemed really unique. I saw the comps when I was in the store because I just sort of looked it up really quickly and they seem pretty good. So that's why I picked them up and I did pay up for these. So I'm hoping that they're worth it, but sometimes you got to take a risk. <laughs> anyway, they're made in the USA and I can see that there's like a style number and everything on the inside, but um, you also see sort of like where the the um the soles were hand nailed in or the the just sort of the sole of the shoe and everything was sort of put together and they're they're weaved on the side you can see it's sort of like stitching and i don't know they just seem like really good quality cowboy boots and i've i've never sold anything like this before but i'm i'm hoping for the best on them yeah i don't know i just thought they were really nice and these are yeah a nine and a half like i said Okay, the next pair of shoes are a pair of coach booties and how adorable are these i don't know i just think these are so cute these are really nice and in really great condition the leather is like this really beautiful color i did rub them with the wonder balsam which does tend to make the leather like a touch darker but i still think that they're they're beautiful and they've got like gold hardware and the hardware is still pretty nice um, and they sort of zip down the side and yeah, they're nice. Just like these. These are a size seven and are they backwards? Yeah. Nice. I don't know. I've never sold coach before, but fingers crossed on these. Last but not least. This is a pair of Sam Edel Edelman wedges. And so yeah, another pair of Sam Edelman. And I actually wore these to a wedding last week with this dress, this loft dress that actually just sold. <laughs> so I, I shipped, I washed the dress and I shipped it out this, this morning. But this is, I, I just love these shoes. They were, um, they were comfortable. I was, they were manageable, you know, as all shoes are. Um, but yeah. 
the gold hardware was really nice and I like this like sort of strap comes around they're a little bit more narrow just the wedge itself but otherwise small little peep toe really great condition cute okay that is all for today thank you for watching this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below um, I'm going to be posting more videos, hopefully on a more consistent basis. And if you have any ideas or comments, suggestions, leave your closet name in the comments so I can check it out and share the love. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Bye.